Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'll be talking about my Game Week 12 review, as well as moving forward into Game Week 13, and seeing what transfers that I have made so far. And as always, if you do like my videos, hit the subscribe button below. So in this Game Week, I scored 59 points, which was above the average of 51. However, I did get a small red arrow from 454,000 to 462,000 which is a drop of 8,000 places in rank. So from this game week, uh, my main highlights were my captain Mo Salah getting 16 points and Jamie Vardy getting 13 points. However, as you can see, uh, Diego Jota is, is actually on my bench. So news came out that he's going to be out injured for eight weeks. And so with Jota not playing, my first sub, Nico Williams, uh, came off the bench with one point. But as you can see, uh, without uh, my captain Mo Salah giving me points and Jamie Vardy, none of my other players did well. So going into game week 13, I've used my two free transfers to bring in Man United's Bruno Fernandes for Son Hyun Min. Now, the reason I've done this move is that over the short term, over the next two to three game weeks, I believe that Bruno Fernandes will outscore Son. And not only that, I do think that Fernandes is going to be heavily captain, especially in the next game away to Sheffield United. So even if I don't decide to captain Fernandes, to have him for cover it is good enough for me. The second transfer I have made is to transfer out Liverpool's Diego Jota and to bring in West Ham's Thomas Sauchek. Now, the reason I've brought in Thomas Salchek in is because of a number of things. He's played 90 minutes in every single game for West Ham. He's very, very cheap. And he is definitely an aerial threat. Now, with Aaron Cresswell on my team, it is definitely a possibility that Aaron Cresswell could supply a corner, a free kick or a cross for Salchek to head in. Now, this is something which I'm, pre I'm quite looking forward to, especially with the double up of a combined cost of only 10.2 million and with West Ham having a double game week down the line. It gives me pretty, it pretty much secures me that I'm going to have at least two players for that game week. So going into game week 13, this is how my team looks. So I'm going to be playing a 4-4-2 formation. And my captain will be Manchester City's Kevin De Bruyne, who will be at home to West Brom with my vice-captain being Bruno Fernandes, who will be away to Sheffield United. Now, as you can see here, I no longer have any Spurs players. I neither have Harry Kane or Son Heung Min. Now, this is a calculated risk. I do believe that Bruno Fernandes and Jamie Vardy can outscore um, Kane and Son. So that's why I've done that. I do have a plan to get um, Harry Kane uh, for Jamie Vardy in the next couple of game weeks when Tottenham's fixtures uh, swing to uh, better long-term fixtures. Some of the players who I'm quite optimistic about include Aaron Cresswell, Patrick Van Anhalt and Thomas Salchek. Now this game is pretty interesting because I have two attacking fullbacks um, playing in this game as well as Thomas Salchek who is an aerial threat. The only downside I have with this team is if you look at my bench uh, I have three players on my bench who are not guaranteed starters. So if any team actually rotates its players, I, I actually don't have, I actually don't have much coverage on the bench, unless Alexander Mitrovic all of a sudden starts for Fulham or Nico Williams uh, comes in for Trent Alexander Arnold. Apart from that, my bench isn't looking that great right now. So guys, if you did like this video, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment and hit the subscribe button below uh, i really appreciate it so until next time so until next time guys peace out